In the latest addition to Iran's armed forces, the Ministry of Defense's Aviation Industries Organization delivered a large number of interceptor, suicide, and reconnaissance strike drones to the Army's units. This addition is part of a strategic drone development agreement between the Army and the Ministry of Defense of Iran, which was signed in April 2021, to deliver 1,000 drones to the Army in the first phase. While the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps Aerospace Force is known for its production of the Shahed 136 long-range suicide drone and its jet-powered version, the Shahed 238, the Ministry of Defense's Aviation Industries Organization has developed the Arash family platform and its jet-powered version, the Kiyan. The Shahed 136 and Arash drones both have a range of nearly 2,000 kilometers. The Arash drone is best known for its distinctive tapered fuselage design. It was first unveiled at the Army's drone exercise in December 2020. Currently, both the Army Air Force and the Navy are users of this drone. It goes without saying that the condition for the effectiveness of any weapon in the long term is its upgrading and optimization over time, and drones are no exception to this rule. In this regard, new generations of the Arash drone have been developed. The most important upgrade was the equipping of this drone with an electro-optical seeker on the nose, which makes it possible to use it against moving targets and even sea-based targets. The Arash drone can destroy targets up to a range of more than 1,700 kilometers with an optimal flight duration of 6 hours and a flight altitude of 12,000 feet. There have also been rumors of the construction of an anti-radar version of this drone, but no images of it have been released. The next topic is the delivery of the third batch of Kara-3 interceptor drones to the Army's Air Defense Force. The Kara jet drone was originally delivered to the IRGC Aerospace and Army's Air Force as a combat drone, with the ability to carry Mark series unguided bombs. However, with the development of new generations, Kara has become a multi-purpose drone with the ability to carry a variety of weapons, including guided bombs, anti-tank missiles, torpedoes, and anti-ship cruise missiles. Iran has been trying to develop an interceptor version of the Kara drone. This work was first attempted with the installation of the Shahab Thaqib missile, and was followed by the equipping of the Kara drone with the Azarash missile. Finally, the AD-08 air defense missile was added to this drone in the role of an air-to-air -air missile, and the Kara interceptor drone project was finalized and operationalized. Some models of the Kara drone are also equipped with an optical seeker on the nose to track the target. This way, this drone can intercept low-speed targets such as helicopters, other drones, and large transport or reconnaissance aircraft at an altitude of 12 kilometers and a radius of more than 600 kilometers. Another addition was the Abable 5 reconnaissance strike drone. Abable 5, as a version based on Mohajer 6, is the result of the evolution of the Defense Ministry's drone designs in the class of medium-range reconnaissance strike drones. A notable policy of Iran's defense industries is the development and use of long-range air-launched weapons. In this regard, Armin air-to-surface bombs were deployed on this drone. This family has so far been introduced in two models, Armin 1 and Armin 2, with ranges of 20 and over 80 kilometers, respectively. The increase in the range of Armin 2 to a maximum distance of 80 to 100 kilometers, which depends on the altitude of release, is due to the addition of an electric motor as a propellant to the structure of this bomb. In general, the development and expansion of long-range weapons keeps drone systems out of the reach of short- and medium-range air defense systems, and the cost of use is significantly reduced.